everybody and welcome back to a studio vlog. I haven't seen you in ages, especially not in this kind of context which is more artsy and bits and bobs um, like. Today I will walk you through a sketch that I'm making for Maya Knight. Um, she is the embodiment queen, I think so personally, and her work on Instagram is just so gorgeous to look at. That's something actually that I like to do is that I like to send my favorite creators a piece of my art because that is where I think I get to give back. Maybe you remember the live streams from Simon and Martina Eat Your Kimchi, um, where they actually got to unpack Spudgy, um, the, their dog. Yeah, it's, it's something that's very close to my heart. I think it's been ages since I did a studio vlog, something around last year or something, but this year has been very crazy and I just wanted to give you a little update because me and my partner, my fiancé, we decided to quit our jobs and start into a new direction. Now, who in the right minds quits their job during a pandemic? This girl. We actually have a reasons to move sort of away from the 10 years plus in e-learning and move towards brand design because now as people are really afflicted by the way that uh, COVID and the pandemic has affected their business, many people need to switch up the gears and the way they're used to work. So. Whatever has been a one-on-one -on -one thing, people need to move online and create their business online. And this is where the whole brand strategy comes in. In this vlog, I will just give you a little update. It's bits and bobs here and there. And I barely ever show you the stage of the pre-sketch um, just because it's kind of embarrassing, it's so raw. I mean, if you look at this classy high art, 12 years or more of studying fine arts. Yeah, what I actually wanted to show you is I start with this kind of rough sketch and then if you look at the eye here, this is where I sort of um, erase the rough line and go over with the fine details so that I then um, end up having a fine and detailed sketch that I then work from and trace onto the watercolor paper. A little later on now I finished the sketch and if you look at it, you can tell that I already tried to give myself the impression how the background is going to look like because Maya wished for something that is more in the soft pastel rose colored rose gold spectrum. This is where I kind of dig the rough sketch of the background. I hardly ever work with color pencils but maybe I'm starting to integrate that into the next artwork.
Ja, ja, pap so dazu auf dem Teller vielleicht. Und das. Ja. Ich schau noch kurz rüber, okay? Halt das fest. Ja. Hallo, Mama ist. Genau, und jetzt kannst du es rund und genau schön reinklopfen. This year we also have a pool. This one is a lot bigger than the last one. If you remember that kind of smallish blow up child children kids pool we had itchy skin a couple of years ago, I think last summer. I think you can actually swim in this one. The thing is, and this is the magical thing that life sort of does, is since we put up the pool, it has been raining every single day. So I think it will be cool in there. I don't know yet. Maybe I get to try today. Wish me luck. My mother brought me a bunch of herbs for smudging and I'm going to cut them into smaller pieces now so I can make my own bunch of poppery. You can see them here. I also created a vision owl, a vision barn owl. I personally like to work with owls in the way of seeking new ideas, gaining understanding if there's a question that I have where I just cannot get the answer to. And not the like math-like questions like what is two plus two. Uh, it's more related to 
life itself, the deeper kind of questions, the deep, deep kind, you know. And if I, I feel stuck there and I need an answer within a short amount of time, I will then call on the owl, the ba barn owl is especially good for this. And this is why I created this piece, you know, if you want to have something in your your space, someone to guide you, to help you, the barn owl is your your buddy. I put up the original artwork in the store. If you want to grab it, I think it's still there. Maybe it's gone till the video goes up, but who knows? <laughs> Maybe you're lucky. Suki's favorite place to rest and right there wait a second just loves hanging out on this old barrel hey kitty hello hi that's the image that makes me the most nervous when I'm working because she's a little devil sitting down there waiting to attack me while I'm working. And the attack isn't just like jumping up or something, it's walking straight over the artwork. So, demon cat, demon cat. Are you hungry? What do you want? Are you bored? What's happening? Do you want food? Ouch. Do you want food? You want food? This looks like a very hungry kitten. Come on. Yep, I'll feed you. Okay, beautiful people. I hope you like this. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will try to answer them in the next video. And till then, we will talk very soon. Bye-bye.